This is Mario with MIA Microflight, and in this video, you're viewing an antenna for FPV in the 5.8 gigahertz uh, range that can be built for literally pennies. Pun intended. This is actually an antenna that was built with four pennies, as you see it here. There's no math required. You don't need to do any uh, calculations. It's already been done for you because the pennies have their their own shape. All you need is four pennies, three nylon uh, two millimeter screws by, I think these are 10 millimeter long, three M2 nuts nylon. You're gonna need three O-rings. These are number four O-rings. And basically, an uh, SMA connector. Mine uh, has a, a dual connector because I didn't have the one with the proper termination, so I ended up using this elbow here. Plus, the elbow gives me uh, the um, perfect setup for my receiver, which sits vertically. And so, when this is mounted vertically, my antenna is pointing directly at my quad as, as I'm flying. The length here is uh, very short just to keep it uh, nice and compact. Um, this uses uh, RG316, I believe is the coaxial cable. It's just the typical coaxial cable that is used on most uh, mushroom type antennas for FPV use. But basically the gist of this antenna is in the simplicity and inexpensive uh, feature of this antenna. If you take four pennies and you arrange them in a delta configuration as I show here, there are three pennies that have been arranged in a delta configuration. They were soldered flat using a uh, just a jig of a piece of wood with some tape just to hold them in place while I was soldering the uh, three pennies at three points. Once that was, that was done, that created my grounding plane or my reflector. And then I went ahead and I drilled a uh, center hole on the uh, top penny here. I did that on the lathe just to be precise and concentric. Then I align that with the three pennies on another block of wood jig and I draw the three holes that you see here at 120 degrees. I mean you can do that fairly inexpensive, fairly easy with just some basic tools if you take the time to do it carefully. Now I did this on a drill press. I have a small shop so I, I do these things a lot easier you know with, uh, with the proper tools but you can do this also with a, a Dremel tool if you you know just a small drill uh, hand drill if you if you're careful and you make a little jig and you tape these or secure these things properly mainly you have to be concerned about you know the concentricity of the uh, the, the penny uh, at the top with the pennies at the bottom here so this is your active element penny which is connected to the center lead of the coaxial cable and separation is the distance of the actual uh, o-ring. Now the beauty of this antenna besides being so inexpensive you know we're using four pennies here and just some parts that you may have in your uh, spare parts bin is that it's also tunable. Now you may have seen some uh, patch antennas this is a, a patch antenna or panel antenna if you, if you want to call it that uh, that have been uh, pretty uh, rigid in, in, in terms of uh, tuning. You know, they just use spacers, uh, rigid spacers, and you cannot tune the distance between the bottom plate, which is your reflector, and your active element. That is important to have some kind of uh, um, adjustment there so that you can tune the antenna to the uh, proper frequency that you're running your uh, um, receiver or VTX at. This one is uh, works really well on channel one, so it works pretty nice. I mean, it worked straight out of the <laughs> out of the the box, so to speak. Uh, as soon as I built it, I had kind of a uh, good idea that this was going to work because I had built uh, previously some panel antennas using copper, the one millimeter copper. This is a little bit thicker than one millimeter copper. The pennies but because they are both the ground and the uh, active uh, uh, plates, if we want to call them plates, they're about the same thickness, they work uh, uh, pretty good, Every, everything is, is consistent. Uh, 
the, the key here is to be able to tune the antenna, like I was saying, and that's what these three nylon screws and nuts, and in particularly the uh, uh, O-rings, uh, these are Buma O-rings, That's they, they allow you to do that. I did not have to uh, tune this antenna beyond, you know, just screwing the, the screws and, and making sure that everything was nice and snug, not, not overly tight, not compressing the O-rings, and it worked just great, just as you see it here, it took me about maybe a, maybe a half hour to build this antenna. Come on, antenna uh, camera, my camera is not focusing here. So it took me about a half hour to build this antenna, and uh, it, like I said, there was no math that I had to uh, calculate. There was no no formulas that I had to do as as I as previously I had done, you know, with the uh, panel type antennas that are rectangular, kind of square. I didn't have to do any of that. So, and you can build one of these two without all that fuss. Basically, it's the simplest antenna. I'm going to say that this is the world's first uh, penny antenna, and I, I believe it is. I, I have never seen an antenna built with pennies that works, uh, or anything similar you know, for the, for that for that matter. I mean, you can use copper. You can you can, you can cut copper, but it's an ordeal. I mean, I, I built panel antennas using copper pipe. Uh, that you can also do if you can't find copper plate you can take a pipe and flatten it and build uh, an antenna uh, you know with a copper uh, uh, pipe flatten the plates and it's as flat as possible and you can do a, a patch antenna that way but but you have to go through the mat which is what I did here when I built my, my copper plate uh, antenna using copper pipe so I had to go through this mat here and then this requires no mat at all and you can Think you can rest assured that this will work with your FPV uh, system. I don't have uh, lab equipment to test these antennas, but my my measurement uh, tool is basically, you know, just uh, it does this antenna provide a better range than the typical mushroom antennas that you get with your FPV gear, and it does. So that is my measurement of um, performance. I would like to put this under test. If you build one of these antennas, you know, and if you have the equipment to test it, I would urge you to, you know, put those, uh, put those figures and see how that, uh, how that pans out, you know, and with the, uh, with the test equipment, because I'm getting really, really good results with this antenna, uh, and it's like I said, basically a no-brainer. I mean, you can see this antenna is basically a no-brainer, you know, just three pennies, but the, the concept of getting to this point you know took a little thought because I was um, experimenting with uh, different uh, materials different uh, uh, shapes and, and distances and you know all kinds of things and so I decided you know what there's an abundance of pennies and you know penny pennies are sometimes found on the streets and sometimes in garbage cans people you know throw pennies not not maybe uh, intentionally but you know you find pennies all over the place and nobody really cares for pennies so here's a good use for pennies that you can build your own antenna with four pennies and basically end up with a pretty decent antenna you know for for nothing so give this a try you know this is Mario with MIA Microflight and this is my particular invention here that works with four pennies you cannot get any cheaper you cannot get any simpler than this setup here. Once again, thank you for watching.